Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'd like to share with you a drill that I have been doing with a lot of my beginner shovel students that has been really helpful in learning the running man. This is especially helpful if you are brand new, uh, still learning the running man and the movement is still feeling a little bit like awkward and clunky and your feet are still getting a little bit twisted and mixed up and you're not sure where to go. So. Um, one thing that's really important to remember when you're learning something new, when you're learning a new movement pattern, if it's something that your body has never done before and that your body is unfamiliar with, you're training your nervous system as much as you are your muscles. And this drill was designed to really get that sort of reactivity that is needed in the running man in order to quickly hit your foot to the ground and then bounce back and switch feet and then to be able to do that repetitively. And it's a drill that I think is maybe a little bit more helpful in helping your body get to the right spot without you feeling like you have to think so hard about it, if that makes any sense. So anyway, it has been helpful for a few of my students, so I thought it might be helpful for some of you too. So what I'd like to do is, it's raining a little bit, so it's getting a little bit noisy. I hope you can hear me. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'm just going to stand up and walk you through the steps of the drill and then I will play music and we'll do it together. Please remember that everybody learns at a different pace and it's completely and wholly dependent on the experience of the, and conditioning that your body has had thus far, which of course is different for everybody. So as we go through the drill and when I do it with music, if there is a spot that you find now you're starting to get a little bit twisted up with or now it's not happening quite the right way, stay at the previous step until that starts to feel natural and then move on to the next step. So um, let's just do it. <clears throat> so what's gonna be happening is we're gonna be switching between basically just two different positions of our feet. Um, one of them, well, three different positions. One of them is a split stance. Okay, and it just looks like this. So you're just jumping one foot forward and one foot back. For this particular drill, equally distributing your weight between both feet. Um, and then you'll bring it back in the middle and you're gonna be alternating, taking a split stance to one side, bouncing in the middle, and then split stance to the other side. So we're going to be incorporating a bounce into this. And the bounce, is the part that is meant to trigger that reactivity in your nervous system to be able to alternate repetitively. Um, and we're just gonna be changing the number of bounces until we work down to single counts and that'll eventually like bleed right into the pattern of the running man. So we're going to start with four bounces on each leg. So it'll be bouncing four times with the right leg split stance and then four times in the middle, and then switching to the left leg split stance, and then back in the middle. Um, and we're just gonna continue to do that for a length of time. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the idea is to keep that bounce going and start to feel that just very spring feeling in the feet. Um, so we're going to go four in the middle, four in the middle, and then it's going to cut it down to two bounces. So then we'll go two in the middle, bounce two times in the middle, switching legs each time, switching legs each time. Still keeping that bounce, still keeping it very like, make sure that you're keeping um, good muscle tension in the quads and the glutes in order to protect the knee from all of this bouncing. Um, so yeah, so we do four and four, and then we're gonna cut it to two and two, and then we're gonna cut it into singles. So then it's gonna be split stance in the middle, split stance in the middle, split, middle, split, middle, split, middle, split, middle, split, middle, split, middle. It's gonna be helpful at this point if you think of keeping your chest up and looking up and trying to be a little bit more relaxed in the upper body as well, okay? So, so far we have four and four, then two and two, and then singles. So after we do the singles, now we're going to go back to a double bounce 
and this time we are going to change our feet just a little bit. So this time, I'm gonna take my right foot forward and I'm gonna double bounce in that split stance. And this time, when I bring it back in the middle, I'm gonna be hopping on the foot that was in the front, okay? The foot that was in the back, I'm just gonna lift up off the ground a little bit. So then it turns into bounce, hop. It's the foot that was forward in the split stance, which is now the foot that you're going to be hopping on. And then from there, you just switch into the other split stance. So now I'm gonna go left leg forward, boom, boom. And now I'm going to hop on my left leg twice, boom. Let me show you this from the back. So it's gonna be double bounce, double hop, double bounce, double hop. Right foot forward, right foot hop, left foot forward, left foot hop. So now we're putting a lot more control into the movement by adding that hop. So when you get here, you're having to rely a lot more on the strength of that base leg that you're hopping on, um, which is something that's really important to develop. So thus far, we've got four and four, then two and two, then singles. Then we're gonna go back to the doubles. And now, instead of a bounce in the middle, it's going to be double split, double hop, double split, double hop. We're gonna do that for a little while. And then we're gonna turn that into single bounces rather than a double. So it's a split stance, a hop, a split stance, a hop. Let me show you from the side. I do my right split stance, and then my right leg hop, my left leg split stance, my left leg hop. Split, hop, split, hop, or drop, hop, drop, hop, I like to say. And once we get to that point, essentially, what is happening is you're doing the pattern of the running man. So just a little additional note here that there are a lot of different variations of the running man and it's not really always that bouncy, but like I said, the purpose of this drill is to get the training in the nervous system to get that reactivity off the ground. Because then once you're able to do this and you have that control and you have that pattern now it becomes a lot easier to be able to take it down to the ground and make it a little more stompy like a Melbourne or to be able to change it into more of like a shaper type of a running man. So it's important to get that foundation and the nervous system down first. Cool? So what I'm going to do is just play a song and we're going to go straight through that whole entire thing, starting with four and four, then two and two, then singles. Then moving back to double split, double hop, double split, double hop. Then single split, single hop, single split, single hop, which is essentially, which is essentially the running end. Okay, let's go. Okay, I am going to shade from the side. I think that's going to be easier. And also, there is going to be a short break after the single hop. Okay, here we go.
I hope it was helpful. It is a lot. You don't need to do it for that long, but I did it longer with each step just to really give you the opportunity to get into it before moving on to the next one. It is excellent conditioning for your calves, your tibs, and your feet. So if you were feeling a lot of tightness there and a lot of exhaustion and fatigue there, that's totally normal. So always stop and take a break and shake it out when you need it. But uh, yeah, so that's the drill. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And uh, I really intend to start posting a lot more of this kind of content. So helpful little tips and tricks or drills and combos and things like that. So if it was something that was helpful and something that you enjoyed and would like to see more of, it would be really helpful if you would help me get this out there by liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing and all of the things. And if there's something specific that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments and hopefully that's something that I can either give you a tip for or perhaps work into a drill or, you know, whatever the case may be, we'll see what happens. But I truly appreciate uh, your support. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. And if you happen to be seeing this, as I'm filming and posting, then have a happy new year and all the best for 2023 and lots of shuffling. Come on.